of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading, Moses uh, sets a very a simple choice between life and the death. And then when we are looking at the gospel, we have uh, something different. It's not about the choosing the life, but it's uh, about, the choosing, uh, about the losing life for Christ. Uh, so the land is about uh, removing every obstacle, about uh, dying for Christ. And, and the, the point of the gospel is very simple, that we have to choose uh, Jesus Christ. But whenever we are doing that, we are losing uh, in the world because in the world we have uh, uh, different uh, commandments. In the world we have different nature. The world, the Satan is trying to keep us away from uh, that beautiful message that we have eternal life with Jesus Christ. The world is trying to say, you, oh, well, you have just one life. You better enjoy it. You have to do uh, whatever you want because after uh, that life is nothing. But that's uh, the false statement. This is not true because Jesus Christ uh, testified. And he said, whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. And we are experiencing that right now. And uh, in that case of choosing the life, the world is trying uh, to tell us, well, not every life is important. Not every human being is important. But Jesus Christ died for all of us. And, and he testified that, that every life uh, is important. And the message of the gospel is not easy. Sometimes it's like a sword. Sometimes it's so hard to accept that. We are trying to uh, read that like a few times to find another explanation. But sometimes the gospel, the word of God is very simple. Choose life. Do not sin. Repent and believe the gospel. We don't have to be uh, theologians. We don't have to be uh, the bishops to understand that simple message. Uh, from the gospel. Do not sin. Choose life. Follow me. Be with me. So let us, we just started Lent, so let us enter into that holy uh, time with the faith, and let us remove every obstacle from the road. Let us uh, do something. Let us die uh, in uh, the matter of uh, our faith, uh, of, of the sin. So let us remove whatever is trying to uh, keep us away from Jesus Christ, from the sacraments. Let us add something to our spiritual life, this land. Let us remember about the confession, about the station of the cross as a beautiful tradition that we are following with Jesus Christ uh, during the station of the cross. Uh, and we are trying to put uh, uh, that uh, reflection into our lives. So let us remember every Friday. If you cannot come on Friday, do the station of the cross in the different day. That's not the sin, but we have to remember that we have to add something during that Lent because as, uh, we have to exercise our spiritual life. This is what the Lent is about. We have to exercise our uh, spiritual life. So uh, do not be afraid. Jesus Christ is with us, and let us uh, lose our life for the sake of the gospel because we have another life with him. Amen. <laughs>